Hello, welcome to another video. This problem threw me off the very first time I saw it because I knew that you shouldn't have a negative sign under the square root sign because that's going to give you a complex function. Well, I know that if x is negative, then whatever is inside is going to turn positive. If you only restrict it to all negatives or even zero, that would be fine. Unfortunately, I don't have any boundaries to tell me that it's going to be negative. So whatever I do has to provide for the possibility of it not being all negative. So I don't have any boundaries. So how do I do the integration? And how do I treat the negative under the square root sign? There is a way you can escape this by doing something called U substitution. <laughs> okay, now, what if I try to rewrite this expression? Or what if I just treat it as a complex number? Okay, let's just look at this. So let's say um, we have this expression. We can rewrite it as... Um, what about if we do the square root of negative 1 multiplied by the square root of x divided by the square root of 2? So now, this strategy I've adopted is not providing, is just taking it as a complex number because I'm going to end up with a complex number because that's what this divides into. The square root of this, square root of this, the square root of this. All of them together will go back there. And what if I do this? What if this is the integral of i multiplied by square root of x over the square root of 2? Which in this case, I can pull out this i and this. It's going to be i over the square root of 2. And then I have the integral of square root of x dx. And I can take this integral. So look. My answer could be i over square root of 2 times the integral of x, square root of x, that's um, the integral, let's write it as x to the 1 half dx, which will be equal to i over square root of 2. The integral of this is going to be x to the 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, which will become, what would we get? We're going to get um, 2i over square root of 2 multiplied by 3 um, square root of x cubed, okay, plus c. That's what we're going to get, okay? We just need to clean this up, okay? And if we remember that if you divide a number by its square root, you're going to get the square root. So remember that 4 divided by 2 is 2. Is always these two are the same. So 2 divided by square root of 2 is square root of 2. So I can write this as square root of 2. And this is going to be um, 3. What do we have? It's supposed to be 2 over 3. Sorry. This is supposed to be 2 over 3. So the 3 is supposed to be 1 over 3 here. Okay, perfect. So our answer ultimately is going to be... Um, square root of 2 i over 3 and then we're going to have this um, square root of x cubed plus c okay that's if i treat this function or if i treat this using complex numbers and i just have i as a number because i is actually a number it's just imaginary but x is supposed to be real so this integral will actually have a real part and an imaginary part, but I don't know when it's going to be imaginary. It depends on what x is, okay? Um, and actually, the way this is, everything I have is going to be imaginary unless I'm having negative numbers, then it's going to go real because the imaginary will multiply the imaginary here and then it becomes real if all the x's are negative. See, this strategy is correct, okay? But I'm dealing with imaginary numbers. What if you don't want to deal with imaginary numbers? You want to actually take everything as real. You don't want to have anything imaginary. Let me show you an alternative way to solving this. So the good alternative is to have the integral of negative, um, this is going to be x over 2 
dx. Okay, we're going to write this as the integral of the square root of negative x over the square root of 2 dx. So now I didn't pull out the negative one because the square root of negative one because I don't want to create i, no imaginary part. I just want to deal with it as if everything is okay. Now, what should I do? I can pull out this um, square root of 2. So this expression could be written as um, 1 over the square root of 2, then the integral of the square root of negative x dx. Then let's do what we usually do, u substitution. If I replace this negative x with u and I say let, or let's put it here, let u be equal to the square root, be equal to negative x rather. Let u be negative x. What does it mean? It means that du will be equal to negative dx, so that negative du is now equal to dx. Now I go replace negative, I mean dx with negative du, that's all I have to do. So I'm going to go here and say this is equal to 1 over the square root of 2, the integral of, remember we're saying u is negative x, so this is going to be the square root of u, and instead of writing dx, I'm going to write negative du, okay, which means that this is equal to, if I take this negative to the back, it's going to be negative 1 over the square root of 2, and then I have this integral, let's box this up, okay, sitting right there, so it's going to be u to the 1 half du, okay, you see now I did not do anything with, um, imaginary numbers and we can integrate this just like we integrated here so this is going to be equal to negative 1 over the square root of 2 was the integral is going to be u to the 3 halves over 3 halves which plus c which if you simplify this 2 goes up here it's going to be minus 2 over square root of 2 times 1 over 3 and then you're going to have um, u to the 3 halves you're going to have u to the 3 halves so all we have to do now is just do some cleanup, okay? And the cleanup is, um, we're going to say, what was u again? We said u was negative x, so this is equal to, remember that this will divide this and you're going to get square root of 2. Square root of 2 into, so it's going to be negative square root of 2 over 3 multiplied by, this u is negative x, so negative x cubed, so we're going to take the square root of negative x cubed. But what does this mean? What does negative x cubed mean? It means negative x squared times negative x. So this is going to be the same thing as the square root of 2. Sorry, it's negative square root of 2 over 3 multiplied by the square root of negative x squared times the square root of negative x. That's the meaning of this expression, plus c. So what do we get from here? So you have to be careful. When you square this, you're going to get x squared. When you take the square root, it's not plus or minus. It's minus, because we know it's minus. Okay? So it has to be minus when you take the square root, because you just assume that this cancels this too. Okay, these two cancel out, and you end up with negative square root of 2 over 3 multiplied by negative x multiplied by square root of negative x plus c. Well, this negative will take out this negative so that your answer is square root of 2 over 3 multiplied by x multiplied by the square root of negative x plus c. And that is the answer you will get if you don't need to worry about imaginary numbers. By the way, if you rewrite this expression, this is what you're going to get. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.